this is a uh, 2010 Town and Country. We've got a little bit of a noise in the engine. And uh, we already know that it's been number six, so uh, we're going to pull the spark plug wire from number six and you'll hear the noise change. As soon as you put it on, it, it uh, starts to off again. And it's usually right around 2,500 uh, RPM. This noise will usually come in when right at the top end of the shift before it shifts. So we're going to pull this thing apart and see what we got inside. All right, this is what it sounds like in the vehicle. Right around 2,500 RPM is where you hear it the most. Now, okay. See if I can get a, okay, right here we are. You, you tighten the thing up and you get it to where it'll slide in and out without any play, all right? So once you have that uh, tightened up on the bottom and you take the thing out, you measure from this side to that side with a gauge like this. And this is a mic. You open it up until you can measure it, and you can see if this uh, rod is the same size as the other one. And you also can measure the uh, the diameter of the of the crankshaft. See if they're all the same. If there's no wear, and everything looks nice on the uh, uh, journal, and there's no no gouges or anything, then you're okay to put in new bearings. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a picture of the old bearings. You know, this is a uh, picture of one of the old ones. Uh, this is a picture of one of them that uh, has turned a little bit already. Now, when you, when you look at it, um, the uh, ends... They're, they're all, if you look at all both sides, the ends are, are completely rounded off. Okay. Uh, here's a picture of a new one. You can see it's got like a little knob, little knob on the end there. Uh, that, that has to fit into the journal. Um, let's see if I can show you the, the little knob in here. See right there, you got like a little small little uh, uh, indent in there, and that's where that piece has to ride in there. 